Well, hello everyone, Dan Herr with Dan Herr Prospecting here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I hope to earn your subscription today. I'm back here on my dream claim. That claim that showed me so many gold nuggets in the past. I have heard from my viewers that some of them would rather see a bit more just straight up panning videos because they can relate. It's something that they can do. So today I have a brand new spot I've never tried before that you know is ideal just for panning. I'm gonna head up river, go check out that spot and do a day of panning and hopefully I can find some of that shiny gold. Wish me luck and I hope you enjoy. Just taking a little sit down break on the way in. It is a fairly long hike up here for me. This will be my last trip into the Dream Claim this year. It is mid-November, the snow is coming down the hills. It's just right above me now, the snow. And we're gonna be frozen out of here in no time. It was a great year on the Dream Claim. I got record nuggets, record gold takes, found a new deposit. I found all sorts of new things here. The ground sluice, it was awesome. Awesome year on the Dream Claim. I hope to put permits in for this claim, so next year there will be even more. Love this place. Anyhow, that's enough of a break. Let's get back to hiking. The rocks are covered in leaves that have fallen off the trees. It makes it treacherously slippery. I've slipped quite a few times already on these rocks. Haven't fallen yet. Not pulling up all yet. And here I am at Nugget Bar, but this is not where I'm panning today. I'm still going farther. Well, I made it. Long walk up here. Probably took me half an hour to get here, but I made it to this spot, and oh, is it amazingly beautiful. When I was doing my um, exploring, my video of exploring the whole claim, I walked this whole uh, edge, and I came across this one spot here that showed what I think is bedrock in very jagged pieces, up on edge, big cracks, places for gold to hide. And I love those kind of spots. They usually hide great gold. Check out what I saw. It's not the biggest area. This bar is actually just a little tiny alcove here. But this jagged bedrock up on edge with lots of cracks in it, that I want to start digging into those cracks, clearing out those cracks, moving the loose pieces, seeing what kind of material fell down in there, and then maybe sort of work my way up under these rocks right here and see what I can pan out. Let's get to it. So I've cleared off a big area here. I'm now starting to dig a pan of this material right here, just because, because. Okay, I have to find a better place to pan than that. That was awkward, awfully awkward. Terrible. Anyhow, nothing in the first pan. Let's go for number two. And pan number two, no sign of gold. Pan number three. Pan three, nothing. So what is this, pan four, pan five. Pan four plus or minus one, I don't know. Anyhow, it's gonna have the gold, yeah. have a spot to put my camera to show you me panning. Other than up there. Okay, this pan will have it. This pan will have it. Hey, I said I wanted to uh, give you a video that people can relate to. You know, five pans with no gold, I bet you lots of people can relate to that. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, is there gold in pan four or five? Yay, I see a piece up there. Oh, I see a couple pieces. Two little tiny specks. Three little tiny specks. I've got some little tiny specks. Let's get out the close-up camera. It's not much gold, but it's the first gold of the day. Well, that's definitely not gonna be able to buy me lunch today, but I'm not skunked at this new spot. And this gives me the drive to keep going and see what else it's got. like the nuggets over on Nugget Bar, but it's a nicer flake. I'll take that. Well, a few more specks and a few more pans. I don't know what I've done. You know, six, eight, ten, something. You know what they say, there's three types of people in this world. Those that can count and those that can't. Anyhow, I've done a bunch more pans there, a few more specks, nothing great. I think I'm gonna move some rocks up above and see if maybe moving sort of up a bench shows me any more. After that, maybe over there. Well, I tried here, there, over there, underneath my pan, a little bit there, a little bit there, one over there. Oh, something up there. I would say this spot looks amazing for gold, but just doesn't have it. At least not that much. Rather than flogging this dead horse, I think I'm gonna move back to Nugget Bar and see if I can find at least one nice piece of gold to show you guys for the video. Because I know I said I wanted to keep this one real and keep this one, you know, what other people might do and expect. But everyone still wants to see a nice piece of gold. This was, you know, what a lot of people can expect when they're out panning. But I'm here, may as well try to find a good one. So I'm back here at Nugget Bar to see if I can end off this video with a good piece of gold or continue this video with some good gold. I have detected this bar up and down a lot since I found that big nugget. I think I've exhausted detecting this bar. So it's time to start digging into the places where the detector might not actually, you know, get deep enough to detect those bigger pieces of gold. I'm on a spot, let's get digging. Some days, the gold just doesn't want to jump into your pan. I'm like 10 inches, 12 inches down on bedrock, pan after pan after pan, nothing but little specks. And not many of those even. But I'm having fun. I'm loving the outdoors. I'm getting good exercise, getting fresh air. And there is still the chance I may get gold. Might, maybe, possibly, hopefully. This spot's not showing me any loving. I know another spot down river. I'm gonna go try it out. Okay, let's see if this spot here has any loving for this tired old man. This is three days straight on the claim, and I'm getting tired, but it's good. Loving it. Well, that's one camera battery dead. On to number two. There's a full pan. There's a place to pan. Let's get at her.
a big yellow rock. If you see this go over the edge, it's not a piece of gold. I'm not losing a nugget. I get one of those comments in almost every panning video. You know, at 1352, you lost a nugget. You ever got bad panning? Uh, no, there it goes. The yellow rock is not a nugget going over the edge. Nuggets don't do that. Okay, anything in this new spot? Hey, the new spot showing me some loving. A nice flake of gold. Well, I'm still gonna do a couple more pans before I call it quits, but if that's the last piece today, I'm happy with that. I'm hoping for one more before I go. Two more pans, that's all I'm gonna do. Two more pans. Couple little specks, but that's it. One more pan, one more pan, and then I gotta go. There were actually four or five little tiny fly poops in that pan. I'm gonna suck that up, clean out my pan, and show you what I got for the day. Let's change the angle of the camera. Different angle. This will be my last pan of the day. I do have the metal detector with me today and I will swing it over all of the pits that I left behind to see if uh, maybe there was a nugget that was close by I didn't catch. But metal detecting, you know, ever since that big nugget really hasn't shown me much on this bar. And of course, we'll show you all the gold at the end here. It's actually all the gold from the last three days on this claim. Uh, the first day was all just prep. Uh, but I did bring out the metal detector, found one little flake. The second day was me uh, checking out those hard rock seams, and I only got one piece of gold, but it was a doozy. It was a nice one. And then the stuff I got today. It's all in the same sucker bottle. So when I go and show you the gold, you're gonna see it all at once. No, that wasn't a nugget going over the edge. That was a, just a yellow rock. Okay, anything in the last pan of the day? One, two, a little tiny fly poops. You know what? It wasn't that bad. Putting it all together in one pan, it looks pretty good. You know, for just coming out here and having fun, I'll take that. Absolutely. I think that was the piece over there I detected on the first day. That's the chunk of hard rock gold that I found, although I'm not still not positive that it's hard rock and not placer. And then, you know, a few pieces I found today and a whole lot of fly poops. If I weighed this up, it would probably come out to about a quarter gram of gold there. Better light on this uh, hard rock nugget today. That is totally a piece of leaf gold. That is totally hard rock gold straight out of a seam. My eyes can tell today how exciting. Hopefully that adventure was something that a lot of those gold panners out there can relate to. You don't always hit it big, but you always have fun and you always enjoy yourself. And that's what it's about. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave me that like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I hope I've earned your subscription. And a big thanks to everyone for watching, especially my patrons. Because of the support of my patrons, I get to make these weekly episodes of Dan Heard Prospecting. Hope you're all having an amazing day, and until the next one, bye.
now to hike out of here with all my gear. Hmm.